What is up guys and welcome back to the Doc Mac car channel. Today what I'm going to do is replace the spark plugs on a Suzuki Swift. It's a 2016 version. It's got a K14B engine. Now this is a 1400cc engine and what I'm going to do is a video on how you can replace the spark plugs on this engine. Now before I do start on that one, I do a lot of car how-to DIY videos. So please consider subscribing to my channel. Pop this clips flathead screwdriver and we're going to pry on this one so we're going to pry on the inside of it and then pop it up and that should come out so yes I've got this 10 millimeter socket an extension and a wrench and then I'm going to set it to loosen and then there's one 10 millimeter bolt here all right and you can get them on undone All right, so what you need to do is immediately pull out the bolt. You don't want to let it drop inside. And then the second thing, what I can do is just push this one back in so that I can get proper access to this. The next thing you want to do is there's this wiring right here and you want to push it away from this filter. There you go. I'm going to remove this box. Like so. Pull this one out sideways. All right, so that's the first part out. All right, with the second part, what you'd need to do is you need to make sure that both of these are unlatched. And then what you need to do is you can pull this one apart. Now there's two prongs down the bottom. You can't see it from here, but you'll need to lift up the box a bit. And then there you go. This is your engine air filter. All right, and this one has got to be facing outwards with all the fins facing towards the outside of the car. This is how the air box looks like on the inside. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this spark plug first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one of the 10 millimeter. All right, so this is what your is called your ignition coil and this is your ignition lead. What you're going to do is you're going to pull that one out. And what you need to do is you need to press on this. And then you should be able to unplug this. Yep. All right, guys, so in order to replace your spark plugs, what you need to do is you need to unclip this and unclip your ignition coil. And then what you need to do is you need to just replace a spark plug. I will post a text in the video as to what size you'll need. All you need to do is just unscrew it, put the new plug in. All you need to do is you'll need to fit this plug back in, in this hole, tighten it to the proper specifications. And then you need to put the ignition coil back in like so. And you'll need to clip this one in like so and then we're going to push it back into the hole and we're going to put the 10 millimeter screw back in here all right that's done all right guys we are now going to put the engine air filter back in what I'd recommend is lifting it up a bit to clear the little grooves down the bottom.
all right guys so we're going to now put this one back together and you need to make sure that this piece goes on top and don't ask me how i know uh, all right so we're gonna make sure that it goes on top rock it back and forth this is the actual clip that you need to push it into this is this hole and there's another one down there and then you just need to push it down make sure that the holes line up And you always want to thread it in first because if this screw falls somewhere in there you can always get a replacement 10 millimeter screw but you'll always have some rattles in your engine all right that's not fully tightened just yet all right once it's threaded in and it's secure then tighten it up that's gotta do it you don't need to over tighten it just tighten it snug enough right so this is the second last thing you need to do you need to push this back into the groove like so i'll also show you guys how to pop this screw so you have a little thing here and you need to push it up and that's how you don't break the plastic screw that you have all right the last thing is i'm gonna press this screw back down and you're done all right guys and the last thing you need to do now is start the engine and just check that everything works And there you go guys, this is how you replace the spark plug on your 2012-2017 Suzuki Strip. I hope this video has been informative and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And please check out my other videos as well.